The James Webb Space Telescope offers astronomers an incredible view of the cosmos, uncovering fascinating discoveries that captivate the scientific community. In a recent effort, researchers directed the telescope towards an impressive collection of 5,000 relatively young galaxies. Among them, they made a remarkable finding – the youngest galaxy to date, unveiling an array of extraordinary cosmic phenomena. This has left scientists baffled as they try to understand how it's even possible. While things might seem a bit blurry in the vast cosmic timescale, it's a win-win for both science and humanity. Let's embark on this cosmic journey and explore together. Welcome to our channel, where mysteries are unrevealed. The first data released from the SEER survey features a region known as the Extended Growth Strip, taking viewers back to a time shortly after the Big Bang. In this video, you can see over 5,000 galaxies in beautiful full color and three dimensions. The cosmic journey begins with relatively nearby galaxies, located within a few billion light years of Earth, and concludes at Macy's Galaxy, which is one of the most distant galaxies ever observed by humanity, lying 13.4 billion light years away from Earth. The images capture it as it appeared around 390 million years after the Big Bang. This new Webb Telescope video not only represents a journey through space, but also takes us on a trip back through time, rewinding cosmic evolution to a period where the universe was under a third of its current age of 13.8 billion years. The video results from data collected by the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey Sears, and explores a region of space known as the Extended Growth Strip. This strip is situated between the constellations of Ursa Major and Bootes and contains approximately 100,000 galaxies. One particular galaxy of significant interest to astronomers in this visualization is Macy's Galaxy. It serves as an example of the early type of galaxy that the James Webb Space Telescope can study. Additionally, astronomers using the telescope have spotted a series of ancient galaxies stretching over 3 million light years. These galaxies are connected by a cosmic filament, dating back to the early days of the universe. This ancient filament of gas and stars could be the earliest known component of the cosmic web. This discovery has the potential to illuminate the process of how the universe was formed and the unseen connections that bind it together. At its center, the filament is anchored by an incredibly luminous celestial object containing a supermassive black hole, known as a quasar. Over the last two decades, research has revealed that the universe is structured like a scaffold, comprised of a series of filaments and clusters that remain invisible to the naked eye. Within these clusters, both dark matter and regular matter become extremely dense, creating optimal conditions for the formation of stars and galaxies. In the spaces between these clumps and filaments, there are regions with very low density, where the number of galaxies and the amount of matter are significantly lower. Though the filament itself remains unseen, its influence is evident, as it brings galaxies together. Furthermore, at the heart of this filament, a quasar, which is a brilliantly luminous supermassive black hole, is believed to be the anchor holding everything in place. The team has a belief that over time, the galaxies will be drawn together, forming a cluster similar to the nearby Coma Galaxy Cluster. Their hope is that this discovery will provide more insight into the cosmic web. Additionally, they are very interested in understanding how early quasars were formed during the early stages of the universe. Speaking of quasars, astronomers utilizing the James Webb Space Telescope have made a significant finding. They have detected the most distant, actively fitting supermassive black hole ever observed in the universe. The black hole, despite being one of the least massive seen in the early universe, has a mass equivalent to about 9 million suns which poses a challenging puzzle for researchers to explain. This active supermassive black hole was observed within the galaxy as part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey. Designated as CRS 1019, the galaxy is observed as it was around 570 million years after the birth of the universe, which is approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The reason why this black hole, despite being one of the least massive observed in the early universe, presents a challenge for researchers to explain is that the processes by which supermassive black holes grow take a significant amount of time. These growth processes involve either the merging of successively large black holes or the gradual accumulation of surrounding matter by voracious feeding. Given the limited time frame of only around 570 million years that this black hole had to work with, it is surprising to see it reach such a significant mass. 
Normally, even supermassive black holes on a scale comparable to the one at the center of the Milky Way, which is around 4.5 million times the mass of the Sun, are expected to be observed only in the relatively close and more recent parts of the universe. The discovery of this relatively low-mass black hole in the early universe raises intriguing questions about how it managed to grow to its size in such a short period. The black hole at the center of Sirius 1019 has a mass of around 9 million times that of the Sun. While this might seem incredibly massive, many supermassive black holes can grow to have billions of times the mass of our star. However, even at this relatively smaller size, the presence of black holes of such masses in the early universe remains a puzzle for scientists. Observing this distant object through the telescope is akin to studying data from black holes found in galaxies near our own, as stated by study co-author Rebecca Larson. Scientists have long suspected that such supermassive black holes existed in the early universe, but it was only after the telescope opened its infrared eye to the cosmos in mid-2022 that definite proof emerged. Based on light emissions, it is evident that the black hole Sirius 1019 is actively devouring matter in its vicinity. Fitting black holes like this one are encircled by swirling accretion disks composed of infalling gas and dust. Due to the gravitational pull of the black hole, the matter in the accretion disk becomes heated, causing the disk to emit a bright glow. Additionally, powerful magnetic fields direct matter towards the poles of the black hole, leading to occasional eruptions in the form of twin jets moving at near light speed, generating intensely bright light. Further observation of the black hole's intense radiation could provide insights into how rapidly its host galaxy is growing and possibly offer clues about its enigmatic history. A potential merger of galaxies might play a part in fueling the activity observed in this galaxy's black hole which in turn could lead to increased star formation. Scientists are diligently examining and precisely analyzing the data to unravel the mysteries. The data disclosed by the Webb telescope has significantly altered our perspective of the early universe. The existence of galaxies forming merely around 390 million years after the Big Bang poses a challenge to our current cosmological model. Nevertheless, we can adapt the model based on the telescope's revelations but there remains an abundance of information scooped up by Webb from the early universe that is yet to be explored. Scientists have also proposed that although Macy's galaxy is the youngest one observed so far, more and more observations are indicating the existence of even younger galaxies and black holes in the early universe. Therefore, going back to the drawing board is not only required, but an absolute necessity. Whatever the universe is hiding from us, we know that it's only a matter of time before we uncover the answers or at least discover the pathways to finding them. As I mentioned earlier, it's a win-win for science and humanity. We would love to hear your thoughts. Please share your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Mystery Unraveled. Together, we will embark on an exciting journey of exploration. Thank you and thank you to all our international viewers.